we are um, doing uh, field exams for feral cats today at our Bramble Colony, uh, where we have more than 200 cats on a rural property. Um, you can meet the cats and track our progress at tinykittens.com slash bramble if you would like to. Um, so, but what we're doing today is that um, we are doing a st stable isotope analysis project um, with one of the local uni universities to try to determine whether feeding feral cats regularly um, and spaying and neutering reduces predation on wildlife. So um, as part of the study, um, I'm retrapping some of the cats that we have previously sampled and spayed and neutered and um, I'm going to take a fur sample and then uh, I figured since uh, we have to trap them anyway to get the sample we may as well you know top up their vaccines and clean ears and give them some deworming and all that good stuff so anyway this is um, Huntsville that I have trapped and um, just keep in mind that I don't really know what's gonna happen um, you know sometimes sometimes the cat will escape and then you know that's okay it's okay things like that happen but um, this is the least stressful way to get the samples because it's in their home environment where they feel safe it's fast they don't have to be transported in a car and so um, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna get started and I'll show you also how we handle feral cats um, safely and in the least stressful way possible. So I'm gonna use this trap divider. And I, she, I just trapped her a few minutes ago. I probably shouldn't mess with the camera or I will regret it. But I'm just gonna stick this in so that I can reach the back of the trap. She's very beautiful. So you can, you can see her in the catalog. Oops. Um, if you go to tinykittens.com slash bramble. Oh, careful. She's not excited about being trapped and I don't blame her. But this is gonna be fast. No big deal, in and out. Okay, so <clears throat> I have a towel. This towel we've previously used, so it has a tiny hole in it, so I have to keep that. I have to just be aware of where my hole is, but I'm just going to uncover slowly. Hi, baby, you're so beautiful. And we'll see that they all, <clears throat> they all react differently. and keeping in mind where her face is. You must have good snout awareness at all times. And now I have her face sort of gently covered. I'm just gonna take this food bowl out so that... She's sitting in it, so... This is going to be so fast, and then you're going to be even healthier and happier, and you're going to help us learn things. Okay, so I have her bundled in this towel. She can breathe, don't worry. Just like if you cover your face with a towel, um, you can breathe through it. I'm just going to give her a minute to So I'm going to start with that. So I'm going to very carefully uncover her hind quarters. You can see her butt there. And then this might startle her a little bit, so I'm just going to distract her with my fingers a little bit of petting.
shape and that should be enough. What a good girl. Very good girl. So just a little bit of her non-invasive thankfully we don't have to hurt them to do it all right one down 19 to go okay so she's being a very good girl this is a very typical feral cat reaction to being trapped and toweled she's not sedated obviously she's just um they just get quiet and they kind of wait for an opportunity to escape if i were to let her see under the towel she would be out of here so fast definitely make a run for it. So the next thing I think that will be helpful is vaccine booster. So I'm going to try to find her distal front leg. Just I have her perfect. Good girl. What a good girl. So her vaccine has been boosted. Very good. And then we'll do a little revolution for fleas and roundworms and ear mites. And this is just topical. And we'll go, I just have to maneuver the towel so I can get to her shoulder blades. And then it just goes right on her skin. Good job. So, um, and let me double check the microchip. Oh, perfect. I can even do it through the towel. Now I just need my own and take a picture of it. Hmm. That's an interesting effect. LED screen is kind of all right that's cool um okay and now um I'm gonna clean her ears I usually enjoy this um let me just try one more time with this Microchip, so where did her sample go? This is the first one, so I'm just sort of figuring it out. Okay. So I'm just going to give this one a little rub and then normally we'd cut a hole in the towel maybe I will cut a small hole in the towel so that I think there's a good chance I could do it just by lifting, maneuvering the the edge of the towel, but it would be easier for her to escape. And so if I just make a small hole, I think that will be just a tiny hole. Very carefully, obviously. And then you can go to tinykittens.com slash ferals to see step-by-step -step instructions of how we handle them. Oh, your tattoo looks pretty good. Her ear's kind of gooey. I'm gonna just use some Q-tips and this piece of grass. <laughs> what a good girl. Very 
there's cats over here watching me. It's like, what are you doing to our friend? It's the microchips can. Okay. So not too much, not too many ear mites. And she doesn't actually seem super itchy, which is nice. Not even too dirty. Good job. Good job. I am going to give her just a little... I can hear the cats crawling around in the rafters up there. I'm going to give her a little bit of... Um, just ear mite medicine. For the road. And now we'll check this. This is Orinda's home, yes. This is the lower colony. We have multiple sub-colonies at this, at this feral colony. Because it's a large 50-acre property. Good girl. You're gonna be even healthier now. She's been spayed. She was one of the first ones we spayed, actually. So she's been enjoying her first summer with no babies. Okay. So that's all rubbed in. All right, so I think that's everything that uh, we can do in a quick exam. Let's see if she wants a little churu for the road and then I can look in her mouth. We'll just see. She's very, look at her little, her little paw on my sock. Oh, her teeth even look pretty good. She had a little dental when she came in for her. Spay there's, this is just churu so that it's not anything bad, but then I can, helps me look in the mouth. So, that's all I'm going to do, so I'm going to let her go. She's probably going to make a run for it. Move the food bowl out of the way. You are so good. I'm very proud of you. Very proud of you. Oh, she's very beautiful. Look how beautiful she is. I'm going to pet you until you run away. Oh, you're so beautiful. There she goes. doesn't look too upset by it so that's nice um so uh yeah so anyway um i'm going to trap the next cat now and um but i just wanted to do a little broadcast for our first that was the first one so um let's see yeah so anyway i may maybe i'll do another one later i don't know if it's interesting or not but um thanks for tuning in and um follow us and um again you can go to tinykittens.com bramble to meet the colony and to follow our progress with spaying and neutering and we have lots of wonderful adoptable kittens and cats from this colony uh you can see them at tinykittens.com available and we also have three live streams right now 24 7 live streams um on youtube so uh, you can go to tinykittens.com slash live and fall in love with some of the cats from this colony that we've brought in. Um, and uh, we need homes right now. We need to get some of these amazing cats adopted out before we can bring in more because we're very, very full. But um, anyway, 
uh, I won't bore you anymore with more blabbering. Um, I'm gonna go see uh, who's gonna get in the trap next. So we've got about, we're, gonna, we're doing 20 more samples. So that, that was the first one. So um, 19 more to go. Uh, all right, thanks for watching. Mm, I don't actually know how to make it turn off. So that's, here, I'm gonna rotate the camera so you don't have to look up at my face. Or maybe not. Maybe you just have to look at my face the whole time. Hmm, that's better. And maybe if I hit this button, it's gonna 